Alright guys, <clears throat> figured I'd do a part 5 on my OBH bar. You can see I put the cross piece here. I just cut the one uh, cross piece that actually went here on the original walker. Cut it in half, sleeved it, put some screws in there. This is already painted with two coats of uh, clear Krylon. <clears throat> so I've got everything painted up. What I did was I took my heat gun and you can see the uh, end pieces. I heated them up and bent them the appropriate angle uh, because the deck hinge is on the boat. The boat uh, deck is not level. It's cocked a little bit uh, and it's also skewed so I'll show you that in a minute. I think I'm going to paint it black. Uh, this stuff is pretty good. I've used it on plastic before. It's uh, guaranteed not to peel. Um, I have used it on PVC. Seems to work pretty good. So I think I'm going to paint it black. And uh, I think it'll look much better. And I also have a pool noodle here that's going to go right across here where I can hang lures and stuff on or whatever. Um, also, there's a hole right here from the original uh, mounting hardware. I'm probably just going to put a stainless screw and nut in there just to cover it up. Might even attach something there. I don't know yet. We'll see. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Alright, there's my front mounting points. <clears throat> my back ones are right there. Um, as you can see, they're slightly skewed inwards from the front so what I had to do was take these mounting pieces and heat them up with a heat gun and bend them to the same angle you can see there now they fit a little bit better um, I might have gone a little bit too far I don't know yet I think but uh, I think they're pretty good and it's pretty close so that's what I did to make them fit better only because they were kind of tight getting them in there when I mounted the uh, the walker all right you can see I did a test spray on this piece of tubing with this uh, rust-oleum high heat stuff guaranteed not to peel um, sprayed it on there, heated it up with the heat gun, not peeling, nice matte finish. So I think I'm going to do the whole walker like that just to match all the uh, hardware on the yak. So we'll paint this thing up and we'll show you the final version. Alright, all my braces are painted black and we got to paint the actual H-bar and put it together and we're done. Alright, there's the final product. Just got to put a piece of pool noodle here. Painted it black. Looks nice and pretty. Matches all the other hardware. So, there we go. My homemade Hobie Outback H-bar made from my mom's old walker. Just got to put some stainless cables to hold them clevis pins so they don't get lost. Put one back here. Fully adjustable. I've got uh, five adjustments here and seven, eight adjustments up front to be able to uh, adjust this thing just about any way I want. Right there is a perfect position. I can stand right here and uh, lean right up against it. So there we have it. And there was a hole here. I just put a J hook to hang things on. So there it is. My homemade Hobie Outback H bar. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I certainly did. Makes a good addition to this kayak for flats fishing. 
and here she is stowed in the uh, down position fully stowed got plenty of room for the hatch to open on both sides and also vertically opens just fine not a problem see there so there it is guys I certainly hope you guys uh, enjoyed this DIY video series can't wait to get out and use it as soon as this wind calms down thanks for your tips keep them coming